Every dream or achievement actually has a lot of background and effort to it. So where did Chandrayaan 3 begin from? What about the lessons we took from Chandrayaan 1 and 2? Take a look at this beautiful journey from the Indian Space Research Organization and the scientists who dared to dream. With 615 crore rupees of budget for Chandrayaan 3, one of the most cost effective. This is how we enabled it. The clock ticked and at exactly 2.43 p.m. on 22nd July 2019, India took a giant leap to the moon. For the second time, Indian Space Research Organization created history by the successful launch of Chandrayaan 2. L110 engine started. अभी announce किया गया कि L110 जो कि हमारा दूसरा मुख्य rocket है, उसका ignition हो गया है, उसके दोनों engine प्रचलित हो गए हैं. This was India's second mission to the moon after the successful voyage of Chandrayaan in 2008. Ignition break normal and lift off normal. GSLV MK3 blasted off to space carrying a Land Rover. Orbiter and a lander with a speed of 11 kilometers per second from the Satish Dhawan Space Research Center in Sri Harikota. It is the beginning of a historical journey of India towards moon and to land at a place near South Pole to carry out scientific experiments to explore unexplored. Within minutes, Chandrayaan-2 was successfully placed into the Earth's orbit. As the space vehicle beamed back a perfect report card, Indian so space have, scientists have at Mission Control erupted with joy. 7.4 kilometers and the velocity was nearly 140. So the, the Vikram lander has uh, successfully completed the rough braking phase. The mission was expected to take 48 days in total to land its rover Pragyan on the south pole of the moon, roughly on 14th September 2019. But then on 10th September, days before the final landing on moon, ISRO announced that it had lost contact with lander Vikram. ISRO scientists were disappointed. It was an emotional moment. Chandrayaan 2 suffered various delays and revisions a decade after the successful maiden Indian moon mission Chandrayaan 1. In October 2008, ISRO successfully launched Chandrayaan 1. On 22nd October 2008, Chandrayaan mission with a lunar orbiter and impactor was launched using PSLV XL from Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. It was a big boost to Indian space exploration history. India researched and developed indigenous technology to explore the moon with Chandrayaan-1. Two weeks after its launch, it was inserted into lunar orbit on 8th November 2008. On 14th November 2008, the moon impact probe separated from the Chandrayaan orbiter and struck the South Pole in a controlled manner. India became the fourth country to place its flag insignia on the moon, near the crater Shackleton. The location of impact was named Jawahar Point. Though Chandrayaan-1 was planned to survey the lunar surface for two years, but after a successful year of transmitting data and detecting presence of lunar water, it stopped communicating on 28 August 2009. 
312 days of Chandrayaan 1 was a celebration of ISRO's hard work and indigenous technological advancement in space exploration. Nearly seven years later, NASA with a ground-based radar system relocated Chandrayaan-1 in its lunar orbit. Today, its orbit varies between 150 and 270 kilometers in altitude every two years around the moon.